experience before getting a job? Well, if you're in college, try to get a job in a lab. Try to get, you know, try to be an intern, try to do something on the campus because every campus has computer stuff. If you're in your in your home and you're trying to, you know, study on certification, make your house the nerdiest networked house in the world. If you go to my house in my basement, I have a full server rack. My wife's not thrilled about it, but it's allowed me to learn so much more than I could on paper. So do something, whether it's you know a job that you can get or just mess around in your house. Set up tons of virtual machines and do projects. Do something, don't just learn it, do it. And that's gonna be really the best advice I have to excelling in your career, especially early. Play. <laughs> so getting your own equipment or virtualized equipment is always a good place to start. So the virtualization portion, obviously free, uh, GNS for Cisco, uh, VirtualBox for Juniper as an example. Um, eBay would be another great idea. Older equipment, believe it or not, still works, still runs mostly the same protocols. You don't always need to learn on the latest and greatest stuff. I think the best thing that you can do is turn technology into a hobby for yourself. Um, you know, make things, even just little things, they don't have to be complicated, but make things and build things on the side that you're excited about and interested in and bring those samples to your job interviews and say to people, say, look, I don't have the practical hands-on experience in a, in a career, of course, but here's some of the things that I've done and here's what I can show you, almost like an artist portfolio. Getting experience before you actually have a job usually runs into, are there some places where you can go and help people? Best places are retirement centers, boys and girls clubs, and any place where they have maybe a homeless ministry or outreach kind of environment where they're training people so they can go out and get jobs. I mean, think about this, where you can walk into an environment where you say, you know, I've just started out in this, but this is what I do with my spare time. I go down to the local boys and girls club and I train young people how to use office and how to use Word and Excel, and, and I'm a trainer, but yeah, I'm also learning this, and I help, by the way, the you know, I helped the local director, he, he's got a wireless unit that wasn't working, so I helped him get it up to speed, and I'm working with, oh, by the way, there's this retirement village down the way where the, the, the people don't know how to get Skype loaded on their computer so they can talk to their grandkids, and when I go in and I help out with that, and I put in X amount of hours, that's impressive. People will say, wow, this is a go-getter and they're learning and they're using their skills. I want that kind of guy or gal on my team.